One Sunday morning, young Lapton went a fishing in the weir. He catched a fish upon his hook, he thought looked very queer. But what a kind of fish it was, young Lampton couldn't tell. He wasn't a fudge to carry it, yem, so he hoid it down the well. Wished lads had your gobs, I'll tell you all an awful story. Wished lads had your gobs, I'll tell you but the worm. New Lampton felt inclined to can and fighting foreign wars. He joined a troop of knights that cared for neither wounds nor scars. And off he went to Palestine where queer things him befell. And very soon forgot about the queer one down the well. Wished lads had your gobs, I'll tell you all an awful story. Wished lads had your gobs, I'll tell you about the worm. But the worm grew fat and grew and grew and grew to an awful size. He'd great big teeth and a great big gob and great big goggly eyes. And when at needs he crawled about to pick up bits of news. If he fell by upon the road, he'd milk a dozen coos. Wished lads had your gobs, I'll tell you all an awful story. Wished lads had your gobs, I'll tell you about the worm. This fearful worm would often feed on calves and lambs and sheep. And swell their little bands alive when they lie down to sleep. And when he'd eaten all he could and he'd had had his fill, he'd roll away and lapped his tail ten times round Penshaw Hill. Wished lads had your gobs, I'll tell you all an awful story. Wished lads had your gobs, I'll tell you but the worm. The news of this most awful worm and his queer garnings on soon crossed the seas, got to the ears of Raven Bolt Sir John. So here me came and catch the beast and cut him in twa halves, and that soon stopped him eating bears and sheep and lambs and calves. Wished lads had your gobs, I'll tell you all an awful story. Wished lads had your gobs, I'll tell you about the worm. So knew you now how all the folks on both sides of the weir lost lots of sheep and lots of sleep and lived in mortal fear. So let's have one to brave Sir John who kept the bands from harm, saved goos and calves by making halves of the famous Lampton worm. No lads, I'll hide me gob. That's all I know about the story of Sir John's clever job with the awful Lampton worm.